trenér české reprezentace Bend Dahl, coach, how are you satisfied with the team performance? Uh, again, uh, very happy that we get two points and we are in the game because that was the most important for us uh, today to, to win and it was uh, some uh, hard days after uh, the Netherlands games to to come a little bit back on track uh, mentally so uh, uh, today I'm uh, most uh, had to say satisfied with our defense and goalkeepers and we still are on a high level on this part of the game uh, what I don't like uh, today it's a little bit this uh, uh, too many technical uh, errors. We we did uh, too much. We win by seven, but we could easily maybe win by seventeen. You know. Uh, I want to ask you about the performance of uh, Sabrina Novotná. First, uh, how did you or when did you decide she will enter uh, the game? Because she told me that the plan was to send her maybe uh, later on. Yes, but uh, this is, uh, I have to say, Martin Galia's uh, task in uh, our team. Uh, I want my staff members to take more responsibility. So uh, the goalkeeper team and our goalkeeper coach, they have a good connection. So, so it's a little bit about this feeling and Petra and Sabrina is working very good together. So it's uh, also a decision from the goalkeeper team and the goalkeeper coach. Uh, I don't uh, go inside if I don't uh, see some things I don't like. So, uh, so far they have done the job perfect. Okay, and now about the performance of Sabrina Novotná. I checked a few seconds before the end of the game and she had a percentage of exactly 50%. Yeah. So what can you it's, say about her performance? No, it's fantastic. I'm so happy for Sabrina because also last game uh, against uh, Netherlands, uh, Petra was amazing in the goal. So, uh, so far in the tournament we have a good uh, performance in the goal. Uh, goal uh, uh, from our goalies, so uh, it's important uh, connected with our defense. If we want to play good with the top teams, uh, it's starting defense. How how important do you think is it for the team that it bounced back from the let's say tough defeat from Netherlands? Oh, well, it means a lot, uh, everything, because now we are still in the game. We have something to fight for, so it's open, uh, and now it's up to us. So now we can start to think about Spain and uh, see what we can do. Of course, we are underdogs against Spain, but uh, Spain, uh, we will see how they play also against these uh, top teams. So um, it's possible to, to win. So we go all in on Friday also. Uh, one more thing maybe is the uh, like minutes, how many, played, how many were played by uh, Veronika Mala and Marketa Jabkova. Were you maybe thinking of uh, at, at the end uh, resting them a bit or why did they play the whole 60 minutes? Uh, because they also need to have a good feeling. It's not about this. Uh, we have good time to have a restitution to Friday. Uh, the competition time is good. We have a rest of the this evening. Uh, we have also a good uh, day tomorrow and we play 6 o'clock on uh, Friday. So I think we will be managed to to be rid of uh, Lactat and uh, these things. And uh, I think we will be ready for the game against Spain. And uh, one last thing, what can you say about the game against Spain? You responded a little bit uh, already, but what can you say uh, about Spain as, a, as an opponent? Uh, if maybe in comparison with Netherlands, uh, can you compare them? No, you cannot compare them because they have a totally different playing style. Okay, the level you can compare, but uh, the style of handball is totally different. Yeah, I meant they, like the, they, the level. They, they have different kind of uh, setup in defense, uh, special things they are doing. They also play tight uh, in attack, they small, uh, quick passes, uh, working a lot in the space. So, yeah, it will be interesting. We need to have the running shoes on.